What's going on everybody? So today I want to talk about this new app that I had heard a lot of people talking about and I was really interested in it and the app is called Stepin. Some of you may be familiar with Stepin and some of you may not. So for those of you who are not familiar with it, Stepin is an app that's in the Web3 crypto type space where you can, it's kind of like a game where you play to earn but in this case you move to earn. So Stepin is an exercise app and it hooks up to your GPS in your phone and tracks your steps. And as you run, it pays you in the tokens of the game. I thought this was a cool concept and I've already been exercising every day because I want to get healthy and get in shape. And exercise is something that I've always enjoyed doing to help relieve stress and to make me feel better and things like that. So why not get paid to do something that I'm already doing? So I thought this app would be cool to check out and I want to give some of my first impressions and how I've enjoyed the app over the past six, seven days. Also just a disclaimer, I'm not being sponsored by Stepin for this video. This is just an honest review on how I feel about the app and I'm going to go ahead and get into the things I like and dislike about the app. Most of the things are things that I like, but let's go ahead and talk about it. Also I apologize if I'm still all red faced and sweaty. I just got back from doing my daily step and run, so I'm still sweating from the run. But one of the first things that I want to talk about that I think is cool is that Stepin is available on both the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Now a lot of these apps don't make it to the Apple App Store. So I think it's cool that this one got approved and it's a good sign to me that it is on the Apple App Store. So the next thing I want to talk about is how to actually get into the game. This is what kept me stuck for about a week because I couldn't really figure out what was going on. Now, once you understand how to do it, it's fairly simple, but until you figure it out, it seems kind of complicated. So what you need to do is you'll go to the Apple App Store and you'll download the Stepin app. Then on the first screen, you'll enter in your email and press send code in the bar underneath. Then it'll send a code to your email. Most likely it'll go to your junk email folder. Go in there, click on the email from Stepin, it'll give you a six digit code. Go back to the app, type in the six digit code and press continue and it'll take you to another screen that says type in activation code. Now this is what's keeping most people out of the app. They're not sure how to get an activation code, they may not know what the activation code is and it's really confusing. So it makes the app feel like an exclusive invite only app because you have to get this activation code. But the reason they're doing it is because the app is growing so fast that the Stepin team is trying to make the game manageable as the growth is going. So they're trying to control the growth so that they can keep the gameplay experience good for everyone as the game expands. So now there's a few different places where you can go to get this activation code. You can go to the Stepin Discord page and every day at 1300 hours UTC time, or for me, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, they will drop 1,000 codes through a link on Discord. There's also another link for Telegram. If you use Telegram, you can go there and get another, get access to another 1,000 codes on Telegram. But you have to be there at exactly the time they drop the codes because they go fast within minutes, sometimes even seconds. So that's one place or two places you can get codes, but it's really hard to get to. Another place you can go is within the Stepin Discord. As people are running and earning activation codes in the app, they'll go ahead and leave them in the Discord. And once again, that's another thing. You have to get those codes within seconds because people are snatching them up super quick. And so it's really hard to do because you have to go in, type your email, get this code, and then type in the code from your email, go to the next page, and then type this activation code all within seconds before somebody else does. And that's really tough to do. So the place where I actually got my code was from the Meta Money Discord chat. And Meta Money is a crypto channel that works in association with BitBoy Crypto, which is where I got this shirt. And the guys that are working with Meta Money, they're both super cool and they have a lot of helpful videos. And Brian has done a lot of videos about Stepin and he's got a lot of helpful information. He's also in the Discord chat fairly often and answers a lot of questions. And that's probably where you'll find me most too if you have questions for me, other than leaving comments in this video. So if you wanna get a code quickly, then you could go to that Meta Money Discord chat and they drop multiple codes per day. And the community is fairly small, so the codes will sit there for a while, sometimes before getting picked up. 
yesterday I dropped a code and it sat available for five hours before somebody picked it up. So it's very possible and pretty easy actually get an activation code through this Discord chat. And I'll leave a link in the description for the MetaMoney Discord chat in the step in section. So now the next thing I want to talk about, once you've gotten your act activation code and you actually made it into the game, the next kind of tough thing is you have to go and buy an NFT shoe in order to start using the app. And later on, they're gonna make it so that you can rent shoes from other people and make it a little bit easier to get in. But the current lowest price for an NFT shoe is about, at the time of this video, 13.5 Solana, which at the time of this video is a little over $1,000. So it's gonna be kinda of hard for a lot of people to get in because that's not a very cheap price point to spend $1,000 to start playing a game. This is something that the Steppen team is aware of and they're trying to do different things to bring the price of the shoes down so it makes it easier for new people to get in. So for people that have already been in and they're making money, this makes them kind of sad because they're gonna be making less money, but for new people trying to get in, it'll be good for them because they'll be able to buy shoes at a cheaper price and start earning coins. So now with the shoes, there are four different types of shoes to choose from. And then there are different tiers of shoes as well. So the four different types of shoes are walkers, joggers, runners, and trainers. And what the difference is, is the speed that you have to move at in order to get paid the tokens while you're using the app. So for the walkers, you get paid if you walk within the speed range of one to six kilometers per hour which is 0.6 to 3.7 miles per hour, which honestly, when I'm running, I have no idea how fast I'm running, so these numbers don't make any sense to me. The joggers are between four to 10 kilometers per hour. The runners are between, are between eight to 20 kilometers per hour, and the trainers are the most flexible, which are between one and 20 kilometers per hour. And I put the conversion rates over here on the right, if that helps at all, but like I said, I don't know how fast I run. For most people, the joggers will be good enough. And I've been watching over the last six, seven days that I've been running, and I usually run between a range of six and eight kilometers per hour, and that's comfortable for me. It's not super fast, but I've also noticed that if I get tired and I do a quick walk, I can fairly easily get over that four kilometers per hour and just doing a, a quick walk. So for most people, the joggers will be good enough and you will make a little bit more money than having the walkers, but you'll still have the flexibility of being able to jog or walk. So the thing with the, with the shoes is that the ones that people want the most are the trainers because they have the most flexibility. So the trainers are the most expensive. The ones that people want the least are the runners because it's hard for everybody to maintain that speed over eight kilometers per hour in order to get paid out for the coins. So the walkers and the joggers are the most commonly used and the trainers are the most sought after and the runners are usually the ones that are avoided. So the runners are usually a little bit cheaper the trainers are the most expensive and the joggers and the walkers are relatively similar in price. Now there are a few different strategies for starting out. The one that I did was I went in and I used stepin.guide and I compared some of the joggers because that's the one that I wanted to get and I found I started from the cheapest ones or the floor price and I looked to see what was available and I found one that had decent attributes and I used that in the stepin.guide to see how the attributes paid out and approximately what I would get paid. And I used that guide to select a floor price sneaker that was a jogger. And I purchased that one and at the time I think it was 12.7 Solana so it ended up being around $1,200 for me to get that sneaker. Now as you play the game you get paid in a token called GST which is a crypto token. And as you earn this GST, then if you want to, you can cash it out. And that's how you get paid. So when I started the game, the GST token was worth almost $7 per token. And I kept using the token to upgrade my shoes, but it was really hard for me to upgrade it because the first time, the first day I ran, I made about eight GST tokens. So eight times seven was 
almost $60 that I had made that day. And I spent almost all of that to upgrade my shoes so that I could make probably one more GST the next day. And so it hurt because I spent $60 to make another seven. And it was kind of tough to, to do that, especially because I know the Steppen team is trying to work in order to bring down the value of the GST token so that it's easier for new people to get in at an affordable price. Because right now with it being so expensive, it's hard to keep the game at a sustainable rate of bringing in new people. So over the last week, I've made a little bit more each day, but unfortunately the value of the GST token has gone down a little bit each day, especially because with the interest rates going up on Wednesday and all the different things, the stock market fell, the crypto market has fallen, and it's brought down the value of the GST token at the same time. So I've been making gradually more and more each day, and I've been upgrading my shoes each day, but my total earnings has come out to approximately $50 each day because I make more, but the value of the coin is less and it ends up being the same. So that's kind of a bummer, but at the same time, I'm still happy that I'm getting paid money to do exercise that I would have been doing regardless of the app, whether I had the app or not. So let's talk about another cool thing that I like about Stepin. So in order to use Stepin, you have to be able to transfer in Solana in order to buy the shoes. So Stepin provides a way to use the in-app crypto wallet in order to hold your Solana, your GST, and the other token, which is GMT, that's used for doing different things in the game. So this wallet is cool because it gives people the chance that people that weren't in crypto, it gives them a chance to become familiar with the Web3 style app and the crypto wallet and different things like that. So it's kind of a cool thing that people are kind of being onboarded into crypto that otherwise wouldn't have been in the process. This also teaches new people about what a seed phrase is and how to set up a wallet and different things like that. So in order to play the game, you have to set up this wallet and then make sure that you keep your seed phrase, which is just a random assortment of words and write this down, keep it somewhere safe so that you can refer back to it if you ever need to get back into the wallet if it closes. Once you have your wallet set up, you'll have to transfer in some Solana. I used Coinbase Pro because the fees are pretty cheap from Coinbase Pro and it's fairly simple to use. And I also noticed that Robinhood has Solana on their app and a lot of people have Robinhood accounts, but the only problem is, is that you can't transfer Solana yet on Robinhood. I guess they're still working on it. So that'll be good once Robinhood gets that set up because then you can just go into your Robinhood app, buy Solana, and then transfer the Solana from the Robinhood app into the Stepin wallet and then you can purchase your shoes. So. For now, what I have been doing is just using the Coinbase Pro app to transfer in Solana and then you can use that Solana to purchase shoes or in within the step in wallet you can convert that Solana into GST or GMT and use that to upgrade your shoes or buy different things within the app. Most of the purchases you'll be making on the step in marketplace in the app will be using Solana and most of the upgrades and other things you'll be doing will be using GST or GMT. So there's a purpose for the different cryptos in the step in wallet, but if you're gonna purchase something new, most likely you'll use Solana. Now you can also use the Binance Smart Chain blockchain. You can switch over from the Solana blockchain to the Binance Smart Chain blockchain within the app, but mostly I've just been using the Solana blockchain and it's been good and bad because there's been some times when Solana has been down and I've had problems trying to send in Solana to buy things. And also today the Binance Smart Chain was down so there's been problems with that. And I've heard that everything on the Binance Smart Chain is way more expensive, which if you're trying to earn things, then you know that's beneficial because you're earning more money. But if you're trying to purchase new shoes or buy things, then it's way more expensive to work on the Binance Smart Chain. So hopefully that's a little bit helpful. If you have any questions about using the different blockchains, leave them in the comments and we'll see if we can help find some answers. Also, when you're looking at the different shoes, there's a few different strategies you can go for. So what I did was I went for the cheapest strategy just to get started and get into the game. Now, obviously that yields the lowest amount of rewards, but like I said, I've been making about $50 per day, which in reality, it's just, I go running for 10 minutes and I earn $50 for running for that 10 minutes. So it's not a whole lot of time that I have to dedicate because it's very little and that's 
Basically, everybody that's starting out will be doing something similar to what I'm doing. You'll be running for 10 minutes or walking, depending on the type of shoes you get, and you'll earn your certain amount of GST tokens for putting in the exercise. So you can look for different things, different strategies. You could start out with a very low level shoe like I did, or you could pay a little bit more for a shoe that's been leveled up to about level nine or something like that. And you could be earning a little bit more and pay a little bit more up front, but you could be earning a little bit more at the end. So there's a lot of videos that other people have made. Um, I know Solana Gaming with Barn Dog is a really good channel. There's another channel called Bitcoin Daily. And that guy makes some really good videos. Like I had mentioned before, there's Meta Money, and Brian has made a lot of really good videos talking about Steppin. So I'll include links for those channels in the description so that you can look and learn more about the game. And you could also go to Steppin's website, look through the white the white paper, which explains all the rules about how to play, how everything works, and you can look up all these different things and learn a little bit more about it. So there's a bunch of different resources that you can go to to find different strategies and the best way to get in, get started, start making money and all these different things. So like I had mentioned too, I paid about $1,200 to purchase my NFT sneakers and then I have also put about $200 in an upgrade. So that's like $1,400. So if I keep going at the current rate of making approximately $50 per day, then I should be able to break even in about 28 days. Now, I'm not sure what the price of the GST token is going to do, especially because the Steppen team is trying to bring down the price of the token so that it's easier for new users to come in. And I'm not sure if the value of the shoes is going to go down or how it's going to work out exactly, because since I've had the shoes, they've gone up in value they've come back down a little bit and then they've gone back up so i could sell my shoes and make all of my money back plus more if i wanted to but i'm going to hang on to them and ideally what i'd like to do is <clears throat> level them up to level 10 and be able to rent them out eventually which is something that the step in team is working on but overall i've enjoyed using the app so far I haven't really had too many problems yet, but like I said, it is hard to get in. But then once you figure out how to get in, then you can start running and earning money or upgrading your shoes, different things like that. So it's been enjoyable so far, especially because I enjoy exercising. It's something that helps me to relieve stress and to feel better during the day. And so exercise is something that I've always enjoyed and I might as well get paid for doing it. So thanks again, everybody for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Most likely I'm gonna be doing a few more different videos about step in, try to go more in depth on certain topics and answer possible questions. And I look forward to see how this project goes. From the videos I've watched, I've been fairly impressed with the step in team. They're aware of many different concerns and they have been paying attention to different crypto projects to try to make sure that they make a long-term sustainable project that people can play for years and years rather than making something that's all hyped up, which right now Stepin is pretty hyped up. And everybody wants to get in because they see some people making $800 a day and different things like that. So everybody wants to get in, but Stepin is trying to make it a controlled increase of users and they're trying to make it a good experience for everybody and make it a good long lasting project. So I've been fairly impressed with the team and I'm sure that this will be something fun. Now I'm sure that the amount of money that you can make is gonna gradually decrease over time, but it's still pretty fun to kind of gamify exercise. So you get rewards on this app for working out and doing the, the different exercises. So it's been fun and it's been fun to make money for, like I said, doing things that I've already done. So thanks again for watching everybody. Uh, leave your questions in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.